Hey there, how are you doing team Win Central here and we welcome you all to the hands-on video review of the latest Windows 10 mobile build. When I say latest Windows 10 mobile build, it means that the build 15055 is the latest creator's update preview build that has been pushed to Windows Insiders in fostering by Microsoft. The build, even uh, like in spite of being the latest uh, fostering build or creator's update build, does not really bring uh, lots of new features or changes. Uh, I mean, Microsoft is in like feature complete stage uh, for the creator's update. And for that reason, now the builds that are being pushed are like more focused on polishes and improvements and fixes. So mostly what you will see in this build are like uh, fix lots of fixes and improvements over the last build, which was pushed in fast stream. <clears throat> so while you should not expect uh, lots of changes and I mean, fee new features, you can expect obviously, uh, better smoothness better performance as compared to the last so in this particular video we will first talk about our installation experience then we will uh, i mean talk about and we'll try to demo the performance in terms of browsing multitasking mm -hmm. uh, like apps uh, opening closing and more i mean we will just go through the whole thing so that you can make up your mind whether whether to go uh, for this build or not so uh, Starting with the installation experience, installation experience for the build 15055 has been uh, much more like I think it is uh, m smoother than as compared to the last builds where we have seen many kind of experiences, mostly uh, mixed kind of experiences. For in this case, or uh, I mean, in, in the particular uh, case of build 15005, we were offered the build very, I mean, it was it just appeared, we just uh, kind of checked for the update and just appeared but, but uh, we needed to do a soft reset because we had like this issue this error message popping up that it cannot be downloaded on the connection you are on we were on wi-fi but it was not able to connect and install or download the update so we just needed to do a soft reset and it was a pretty smooth go after that so it took around 35 to 40 minutes for this build to get downloaded uh, installed and our devices like our device up and running so uh, that is about the installation experience which is like i think uh, just a soft reset was what we needed to do extra otherwise it was quite good very good so as we are reaching to that conclusion phase or final phase of rollout which may happen in april or maybe like in may <clears throat> so obviously we uh, need to see whether even the updates are getting delivered smoothly now coming to how the build behaves it is good till now i mean uh, during the time of our hands-on on a this is our daily one of the daily drivers so it has been working quite uh, gently not giving any headache to us <clears throat> so till now we did not i mean if you go to the known issues you may see that there may be random reboots on this build but uh, during our hands-on time for like more than 24 hours we have not seen it rebooting even one so that is a good thing i mean why you can expect that there may be a random reboots on some devices but on our devices we did not see it getting rebooted uh, coming to how it it is so i think it, it uh, retains the smoothness while when you scroll the app list or like when you try to go back and forth from home screen to app list you see it's all happening perfectly fine i mean there is not <clears throat> much issue to show when you go to the settings basically so settings is one place where redstone builds have been right i mean they are pretty consistent and smooth and that theme actually getting repeated in this build as well so most of the things they are uh, like consistent kind of feel that you have here from going to one setting to another setting and uh, just like the same kind of experience so So as you can see it's pretty smooth kind of travel across or like smooth kind of interaction with the settings part etc <clears throat> now coming to uh, how the apps open and close how the multitasking browsing etc is so let's open some few of the apps so we can start with cortana 
I mean, many times we see that everything works fine, but Kota I mean, it goes usually in issue, into issues, so it's better to just open and check how the Kotana behaves. So it, here it is. Uh, on our device, you can see that Kotana is fine. <clears throat> Let's send the Kotana to the background. We will open the store. Good thing about, uh, I mean, especially, I mean, I had seen like in last couple of builds, the store has been behaving uh, in a much better way. We don't see many issues with the store. The issues like why we were not able to check for updates. Now it all works fine. You can check for updates and it completes <laughs> within some time. Earlier, like I think uh, some, a uh, couple of uh, builds before it was very bad actually so it used to just circle and circle but there was no result after trying for like check for update so now, now that is sorted out <coughs> and the store now behaves uh, pretty pretty well actually there have been recent ui changes as well i don't think that there are like any changes with this particular uh, you know version which comes with this build but apart from that that i mean it's okay so store has been working fine consistently coming to the things like uh, Wi-Fi and mobile data it is good I we have never faced any issue so we will just check the Wi-Fi off and on and it connects pretty fast so in that way I mean you can see that even uh, when you go to the action center scroll up and scroll down it's all good it's smooth actually so we just check the data part uh, then the Wi-Fi disconnecting and connecting has been good the Bluetooth now actually it, it, uh, it on this particular build we have seen that the Bluetooth gets connected we have earlier like kind of uh, shown that you know I mean uh, there has been a change in the Bluetooth UI and that remains here and now it's it really I mean it gets paired very easily if you have already paired it with any other device it will just pair it automatically so that has been an improvement major improvement in Bluetooth that many people would like it love it so let's send that to background too <clears throat> now let's talk about the maps let's open the maps Let's send to the background. Let's quickly check the browsing part. Okay. Coming to the browsing part, let's uh, quickly check some tabs actually. Let's open a few tabs. Let's open few more. We can quickly test the HTML5 as well. Okay. Let's open YouTube.
<coughs> Sorry. Very quickly see how the video streaming works like. One of the trailers. So let's send it to the background. Uh, what we just saw was like a crashing of the tab perhaps. So what had happened that uh, we were running this trailer and the tab I think was got crashed. So some amount of improvement is of course needed when we talk about the, the browser part. Let's uh, just see how the tab behavior is now uh, since we have open four tabs. So it's good actually uh, the tab did not reload. It did not reload as well so we were like had we had this suspicion that maybe the tab gets reloaded because that was that was something which was happening uh, earlier so okay at least one tab reloaded so the youtube i don't know i mean whether that is uh, an issue or what but while other three tabs did not reload they just resumed which is what is desirable but we saw one of the tab getting reloaded so this is how the uh, Microsoft Edge just we have. We saw that while uh, doing a video streaming, at one time they were like kind of flickering, but now the set, I mean in the second attempt, the tab reloaded and it was all good. So maybe the bit of like small glitch or glitches are there which can be solved. So now coming to the multitasking part quickly, we can see how the apps are like resuming and it's okay. We saw the maps. Let's open Cortana. App resume seems to be fine. So while most of the part the app resumes seems good we saw that there may be some sort of like improvements which are needed for microsoft edge now let's open uh, one game and quickly see how that uh, i mean kind of multitasking happens or works like with this game Anyways, not focused on really playing it. So let's send it to the background. Now let's 
try to multitask with it. H resumes uh, very well. The game also seems to... Okay, the game got reloaded, it seems. Okay, yes, it's reloading. So, maybe some issue with the game not resuming well, which can be worked on. So, it's like, as you have seen till now, so multitasking and the memory management, that can really need some work. Some kind of small glitches may be there, here and there, in terms of how Microsoft Edge behaves, the tabs we have there, how they crash or reload, and how even the multitasking with a game we just saw. So, usually this game will not reload, it will just resume. In this case, we saw that it's reloading, so something which can be worked on. Coming to the battery server or like let's say battery life part, the battery life has been quite good. We did not see many issues here, and it for like in like last 24 hours we have seen that it is has been as good or slightly better than what was on the last build. So with that, uh, we can recommend this build to anybody who is on a fast string or even like it can be. Uh, for a slow ring uh, insider if you want to test a new build he can actually try it so because the build did not really give us a very i mean any any major issue so it it is not a deal breaker kind of issue any any of them so with that we come to end of this video hope you have liked our evaluation of the build 15055 and we really uh, thank you for watching this video and hope that you will uh, come back to the channel for more videos thanks for watching